Dozens of activists from the Artery of Life convoy destined to Gaza violently clashed with Egyptian security forces, causing many injuries near the Egyptian area of Al-Arish. The situation escalated when the Egyptians prevented about 50 vehicles from the convoy to enter the Rafah crossing. Our reporter, Yasser Abu Hilala, in Al-Arish, They were no longer able to stay in the Egyptian port of Al-Arish, so they went outside and held a sit-in. They considered themselves prisoners because they were prevented from driving about one-fifth of the artery of life vehicles into Gaza after having driven them thousands of miles. They were not allowed to enter Gaza, which was only a few blocks away from them, and clashed with the Egyptian security forces. They fiercely responded to the attacks by the Egyptian security and helped three security officers against their will. About 40 of them sustained different injuries. Six American, British, Kuwaiti and Malaysian nationals were arrested. The Egyptian authorities accused them of taking over the port. They said that they did not prevent the arrival of humanitarian aid to Gaza and that they only prevented private cars that are not used for humanitarian purposes from entering Gaza. The activists, however, say that they were held in the port and that the humanitarian aid convoy cannot be divided. They say that breaking the siege in Gaza is both a political and humanitarian mission. Jana, who is only 16 years old, is the youngest convoy participant. She came from Ohio, but she too was not spared from the beatings. We have 70 and 80 year old people, but they were beaten by the Egyptian security forces. They also came and took a man named Sharif and put him in a truck and started beating him. They were asking him about his passport, but he said that he has no passport. They were beating him anyway. They pushed me away from the truck, took the stick from me and hit me on my back. The diplomatic mediation efforts led by the Turks were intensified and the clashes calmed down. We in Turkey believe that Gaza and the Palestinian people are one nation. There has always been strong relations between the Palestinian and Turkish people, and they became even stronger during the government of Erdogan. The international activists came to break the Israeli-imposed siege on Gaza, only to find themselves under siege. They have been driving the artery of live convoy vehicles for more than one month, and they hope that their trip will end soon. The activists have crossed thousands of miles in the hopes that the humanitarian supplies they carry would help the Palestinians endure the suffering caused by the Israeli war machine. Now, they are forced to use the medical supplies to treat their own injuries.